Guess you're surprised that a red guard is the gourmet. But believe me, we know our way around the kitchen. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Astrid, I'm back, and I'm prepared for my next so mission. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And yes. now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Yes, so it's time we're ready to assassinate the Emperor. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Of course. I'd expect nothing less. The Emperor will die for Sithis and the Night Mother. Yes, for Sithis and the Night Mother. You, you are the listener after all, hmm? So let's not waste any more time. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll of gain course. unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. And which poison should I use? Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Meade has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Well, before I leave, what else can you tell me about Jarin Root? It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable. Cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death. <laughs> so don't even think about it. All right, is there anything else before I set off? It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you. Listener. Kill well, and often. You know, you've told me that you don't really believe in the Listener. And don't really follow the practices of the Night Mother. This is probably going to be one of our final conversations, Astrid. <laughs> don't ask me how I know. Brother? But I'd like you to tell me about yourself. This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. Mm -hmm. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him mm. and liked it. Mm. Then I killed again and <laughs> liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood, and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. Yes, here we are. And I do want to say that I'm sorry for what you went through at the hands of your uncle. It's very unfortunate. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry at all. All right. Time for me to take my leave. And here we are. Solitude. I thought I'd look the part of the gourmet. <laughs> Don't mind me, God. Someone just told me a joke that I thought was very funny, and I was remembering it. <laughs> Commander Morrow. Seems.
seems that our paths continue to cross. <laughs> you are very close. Very close, my Harold. <laughs> Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those damned shopkeepers. They can't even keep the Stormcloaks in line. No way I trust them with the Emperor's life. You worry too much. The Emperor's never been safer. You think assassination attempts are planned overnight? We discovered the plot. End of threat. I suppose. But what about the old man? Son killed, family name ruined, and he acts as if nothing even happened. Think he's even fit for duty? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Commander Morrow is the best the Penitus Oculatus has ever produced. You should be half the man he is. You misunderstand, it's just... I feel Commander Morrow. Stop right to there. Like the tower is off limits until further notice. Toll. That happened to me. Be a wreck. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers. The Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet. I'm... <laughs> I'm yes. sorry. The clothes, of course. I... I should have realized. It's all Please, right. Please, excuse my ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. Thank you. I guess you're surprised that a red guard is the gourmet. But believe me, we know our way around the kitchen. Another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. Really? Your impudence is annoying. Not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. You clearly misunderstand. For I am the gourmet. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Enough! The gourmet is here to cook, not talk. Let us begin. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots. Carrots? Really? Okay. Are you questioning me? And now a splash of mead. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. All right, what next then? One Nern root. Really? Oh, I use Nin root as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Diced horker meat. Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? There is one final ingredient. Here, add this. Oh? 
What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Now, now, Gianna. Who's the gourmet here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Oh, oh, it's this way. I thought it would be back the other way, all right. Make you walk this far. It's ridiculous. The food will be cold by the time we get to the dining room. You mean the wedding? My cousin's apparent murder? An unfortunate misunderstanding. No more. Cold mead, hot tempers. These things happen. Quite. Yet that recent. Here we are. The young officer, Gods, I'm Mara, nervous. We'll How go in in dreadful. just a moment. Please, son of I'll your serve. Commander. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes. All right, that works for me. That, but an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one, now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha. Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... <laughs> the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor. Get them! What? No, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. I. <laughs> Come on. Have you? Somehow I doubt it. Strike harder. <laughs> Come on. Damn you. <laughs> Thank you for this gift, Master. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Some gold. I think I have a Pinnitus Oculata set at Hindraheim. Oh, what? Look at that head on the floor. <laughs> emperor, Emperor, Emperor. Wait a minute. I don't think this is the real Emperor. You are so perceptive, my Harold. <laughs> Beware. Treachery is afoot. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Master. The One. to get used to the many names that you call yourself. I really prefer Master, because I have such respect for you. But anyhow, let's see if I can't get out of here. This feels like a trap. The 
that someone clapping? That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. A decoy? I knew it. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed really? my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. Make sure there's nothing left to bury. Never should have come here. Yeah! Kill him. Hang on here. Oh. You should put down that arrow. That bow. You don't stand a chance. All right. Command Amaro. What? Some sort of illusion. that Morrow was a mage. He's using powers that should be beyond him. All right, let me get out of here. I order the yard. Oh. Stop right there. Is there any chance that I could talk you into overlooking this? Right. You just watch yourself. <laughs> Next time I might not be so lenient. By the you have committed crimes what? against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? All right, you caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Heard you've got a knack at persuading people. Maybe you can persuade the steward to increase our pay. <laughs> well, I suppose this is one way to get away with murder. Uh, yes, I do have a knack for persuasion. And I'm getting out of here while I still can. So, it sounds as though Astrid has betrayed the entire Brotherhood. Why am I not surprised? Alright, I'd better get back into my battle gear. What? It's the Penitus Oculatus. They're here. Take to run through a few scraggly assassins. Who else?
right, that's the end of them. Took some men deeper in. What's it to be sure? What was that? Wait a minute. Resist them. Zara, no. Dead. Take this shrouded armor. I can't even see. Well, sure showed them. Over now. was a trap. Astrid set us up. Considering most of us are now dead, I, I assumed as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. I've already told you who it is. <laughs> well, maybe I did. But you saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <laughs> so, thanks. No problem. We need to get out of here. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <coughs> roasted alive. Come on! Listener, I am your only salvation. Come, embrace me. yourself to safety. I'm going to embrace the Night Mother. Fast. 
as I can, you stupid she-devil. I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more pull. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. I have to speak with Astrid. She's here in the sanctuary. She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! Oh, we've lost her all right a long time ago. Babette, you two are the only survivors. What about Festus? Gabriella? No. Where is... Yes, in here. What? The Black Sacrament? And in its center... Astrid. <laughs> <laughs> No thanks to you. <coughs> alive. You're alive. <coughs> thanks, Sithis. <coughs> yes, I do owe my thanks to Sithis. He warned me about you. Astrid. Shh. <coughs> Please. <coughs> there is much I have to say. <coughs> and not much time. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. Marrow. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. You will be judged by Sithis, by the One, in the Void, and I pity you. No, don't pity me. I deserve whatever fate the Dread Lord has in store. I betrayed you, and now Vero has betrayed me. <laughs> Fitting. I just wanted things to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A, a chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... This. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. <laughs> and that's why the Night Mother spoke to me. What exactly are you trying to say? I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill 
me. <laughs> Was that ever in doubt? Asked Please, from the moment Snap. we first met. Release my soul and let Sithis be the judge. All right, let's see what I can do for you. How about Please, the hangman's Snap. noose? Release my soul and let's. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Sithus take you. <laughs> You've done well, my Harold. And now you lead the Dark Brotherhood. But there is but one final thing for you to do. And I know that you know what that is. <laughs> it's done. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Yes. I sort of do too. She was a if pathetic figure. If I hadn't figure. heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. Zero. How could Astrid have done Astrid. this to us? Strangely, I feel only I pity for her. My head around it. All right, what's left here? Where am I being guided? Are there any more survivors? The n out of the night. Okay. I guess. Astrid Whoa. is dead. It is as it should be. <laughs> May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead the second must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans, for you are the listener and must bind this family together. <laughs> this is so amazing. To be the listener, to have the ear of the Night Mother, and Sithis all at the same time. <laughs> Nazir. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. Not exactly. The Night Mother has spoken to me again. What? Well, what did she say? <laughs> that I must speak with Amand Motier once more. Amand Motier? But that would mean... Yes, the contract is still on. The true Emperor must be assassinated. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... Our family lives on, Nazir. You have to trust me. Hmm. <laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Hmm. 
Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Hail, Sithis.